little home brewing, just yeah. very little. Yeah. You know, and and if you know, maybe seventy five percent of my batches are really good. Yeah. Those twenty five percent, I'm really yeah. disappointed. I can't imagine <laughs> if I was looking at like a couple of grand worth of right. loss. Right. Know? The 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 thing is though is that you have to look at what went wrong. So beer making, I would argue, is harder than spirits making. And beer making on a small scale is a lot harder than spirits making because we have the proper, we have equipment that's made to, to make this, mm -hmm. right? I'm not working with a Home Depot, five gallon buckets. <laughs> but, and that's the thing, right? We, we, we're, we're, and that's, we were, we're using equipment that was built for this. So the, the mistakes that we make, we understand what they are very quickly and we rectify them very quickly in terms of how we don't do it again. Why did you decide to locate here? Because I remember there was a buzz for a while, yeah. like when, when you guys had bought the building. I can, I can remember people talking about being down at Saranac Thursday and like, oh, did you hear there's a distillery coming here? And why did you want to locate here? Um, well, first and foremost, having Saranac down the well, street right, right, is right. super helpful. Right. Um, and they do such a nice job for us of people taking the tour and saying, you know, you should head down the street. Mm -hmm. um, and so first, first things first, having them as the anchor on that side of the street mm -hmm. with 125 years of, you know, sure. award-winning history really does help. Yeah. Um, and secondly, you know, we love the idea of a downtown distillery. There are a lot of distilleries that are in the middle of nowhere on a farm off the beaten path that are difficult to find, you know, to be in Utica, to be in an mm -hmm. urban setting. Um, was really important to us so we wanted to find an urban location mm -hmm. and so the choice for us was do we locate here or do we go to another part of the city and to be honest with you we fell in love with the building mm -hmm. um, and a distillery does not belong in a building this size but somehow we shoehorned a distillery mm -hmm. right in here yeah the building has changed a lot over the years and I think it's finally found its home <laughs> as a yeah. distillery cool I hope so yeah it's uh I, we have people coming here all the time to say oh, I threw up upstairs yeah. <laughs> I once puked over there and it's like, oh, it's great. Fantastic, thank you. Welcome. Yeah, <laughs> welcome. What did you find, did you find that the community at large was by and large like really supportive of what you're trying to do or was there like different, did people understand what you were trying to do when you were starting this? Yeah, I think so. I think by and large people really supportive. I mean, case in point, we sell close to 400 bottles out of this building in 24 hours. Like mm -hmm. you can't sure. do that without people sure. really getting behind what you're doing. But, you know, I'll be at a bar and no one knows who I am, obviously, sure. and I'll order an 80K vodka and people will snicker and say, well, that, you know, why would, you know, the hmm. company's terrible. And then, you know, that's fine. Wow. And I don't know if yeah. it's whatever it is. They don't have to like it. Not everyone's gonna like everything sure, you make, sure. so. Segment of people. And I think we're seeing less of it mm -hmm. in this community, but that, that just that negativity is just, like that's all they, that's all they're about. So. Like it's easy to be you negative. The, the, the bar, end, yeah, you know, yeah. Because it's locally produced, therefore it must be crap. <laughs> right. You know, right? It has no, it's not personal to me. Yeah. It's that you know, oh, you make it with mm -hmm. like oh, you know, water from upstate New York. Yeah. Oh, and you're yeah. like, well, I think the negative, the the default for people to be negative is easier than to go out and do something to be positive. It's easier to be negative than it is to do something to be positive. Where do you see the? Um, you know, you're down here every day. Where do you see the brewery district going? I mean, oh, that's a really good question. Um, I think that you know the you know Chris Talgo the distillery district. To the brewery uh, district so that's right. why we call it the brewery <laughs> district. In 125 years, yeah, maybe we'll yeah. call it the, dist the distillery district. You know, people like Chris Talgo over at Nail Creek yeah. and the brewery, and um, Jimmy Fitzgerald over at Lukens. Now we're starting to get together um, and sort of develop an idea for for the neighborhood. We want to make it more of a neighborhood. I think the problem that the street has, if I were to be critical right now, is that it's really busy on Thursday nights for four months, and that's it. Um, and as the city transitions, I think we need to make this, rather than a street full of bars, into a neighborhood that does other things than a place to drink beer on Thursday nights. And if I were, that's, that would be my, and so I think we need more restaurants. We need people yeah. to live down here. We need people to shop down here. So I think we need to do things as a city and as a community to incentivize people to open businesses down here and take a little bit of risk because I think this I think the street is changing very fast and I think yeah. that the area is changing very fast and I think you know at some point people are gonna say wow I should have done that yeah, yeah. <laughs> right um, and I hope we're part of that uh, on this end of the street um, you know when we got you know if there are a few places for sale here around our distillery and and uh, we hope to be sort of an anchor on this end of the street just as the brewery is an anchor on that end of the street how do you think 
the arterial project will affect you positively? Oh, big time. I mean, that's, again, one of the reasons we chose this building is the arterial project okay. coming here and, you know, be able to get off, you know, seeing the distillery from the mm -hmm. arterial and being able to, to come on over very quickly is, is a, I think, a real positive yeah. step. I feel like we're starting to see um, more of like a riot. Like, we've always had like East Utica, West Utica, North Utica, South Utica. Yeah. Right? But I think there's starting to be like this neighborhood concept with Bag Square seems yeah. to be like... Mm -hmm on fire right now and now it's the brewery district and starting to think of things in terms of neighborhoods instead of just these four quadrants yeah. bisected by a, a I th road. well it's, it's a lot of things too i think we we're seeing in, in the macro sense people wanting to live in cities again yeah i mean for the longest time it was everyone was moving to the suburbs and i think people now they don't want to have to sit in their car i mean there's no real traffic in utica but they don't want to have access car. to things that you would have in the city, i mean you know? i like walking to things mm -hmm. i mean yeah. it's not the easiest thing in the world in february in, in upstate new york sure. but walking to things and having access to things you just have to have access to things is mm -hmm. the problem you have to be able to walk somewhere and i think that that's part of the opportunity you see downtown yeah. is well if you have an idea for whatever if it's retail or, or a business you can easily find space to house it in mm -hmm. and you can walk live play eat drink mm -hmm. all within you know a yeah. couple of minute walk and you know you go to a comets game or you come here and then you can walk to the odd in a couple mm -hmm. of months very easily and not have to sort of you know dodge 85 cars going yeah. 60 miles an hour so this holistic plan of, mm -hmm. of integrating the city in terms of connectivities is a is yeah. an important step you, I, I mean, I'm guilty of it. I come here to drink. Yeah. Right? But I'm not here but to... But if there were other things here, you would come here for, for that as well. I like you the idea... Drink because that's what... It's yeah. A, that's it's what a chicken before the egg, though. Yeah. Do you build apartments here right. with the idea that, okay, you're going to get another coffee shop and you're going to get a grocery store and you're going to get... Right. Um, you know, uh, two or three other things, or do you build the retail locations the retail and then hopefully then. people will say, I want to live here. And, you, know, you, need a, you definitely need a grocery store yeah. near right. here. And that's the biggest issue that I would have living downtown is I go to the grocery store every day. Yeah. What is, what's next for you guys? What's next for us? Yeah. Um, well, we're working on a couple different spirits and I think it's expansion slowly to make sure, but everything is about making sure the quality stays the same. So we're, we're working on expanding in some more states and you know, uh, it's awesome, awesome when we get feedback to say, you know, you got to go here, you got to go here. And mm -hmm. you know, we're a small company, so we can only be in so many places at one time. But mm -hmm. it's amazing when, when people suggest things for us and, and we're more than happy to oblige. And, you know, we'll just keep introducing people to the brand. You'd be surprised how many people in Utica don't even know we exist. Yes. Um, and so every day I meet people who've never heard of us in Utica, and that's fine. So we're here to introduce people to the brand and introduce them and educate them about what we're doing. And inevitably they will buy a bottle. <laughs> <laughs> when, uh, so people can come down here, right? People can come down. Uh, I do tours, mm -hmm. um, so they can call and schedule a tour. Mm -hmm. I'll walk them through the entire process, the entire facility, mm -hmm. answer any questions, and you get uh, a tour, a tasting. You get three tastes and, and one of these glasses for 10 bucks. So that's not a bad deal. Not a bad deal. Yeah. Cool. Thank you. Well, thanks for having us down. This is awesome. And thanks for the uh, delicious bourbon. Anytime. This is uh, wonderful. Nice Cheers. Cheers. Yeah. Cheers. Need some more. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks.